Yeah, it is a fun phrase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we're looking forward to warmer temperatures down the road at least. Yeah, 52 degrees overnight, not bad. You know, we've been in the 40s the last few nights, as you pointed out. So mostly clear skies, south, southeast wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now it's all about warming up tomorrow quickly. 52 to 58 degrees from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. with mostly clear skies. On through the day, yeah, plenty of sun. Rolling on through the midday into the afternoon with increased winds. We're going to see our southeast winds cranking up there about 15 to 25, even stronger. Yeah, gusting stronger, that is. You see there, the southeast wind, and then gusting up to 35 miles an hour. So if your uh, trash can is out there and it's empty, it's liable to be blown off at least over or off into the road. That's a possibility, so keep that in mind. Uh, as Friday comes around, expect a high in the low 80s. Pretty nice. Uh, great day overall, and it's just a perfect afternoon. Although, you'll notice the higher humidity, it won't be too bad. South wind 10 to 20 miles an hour. What is bad is the pollen level. Mmm, cedar is uh, pretty nasty out there, and it's going to continue to stay that way through the end of the week into the weekend. Temperatures will continue to be nice and warm for this time of year. I mean, we should be topping out at 73 degrees, not, uh, you know, 83, 84, no. Uh, we're going to be above normal on into the weekend. Now we've got this front coming on through this coming weekend and it's going to do kind of a sidestep where it's not going to be just a one cut deal and cool us down. It's going to take it a day or two for it to all work itself out from Saturday to Sunday and then leave us noticeably cooler on Monday. So this dance will result in shifting winds on Saturday afternoon with a high of 80 degrees, but then on Sunday a high of only 72 degrees, again waiting for the cooler air to sift on south into the valley. So you'll have this thing sagging south, and then you have the back end of it picking up and rolling on east across us. So that two-step process is what's going to create a shifting wind and a slowdown in the cool down. You don't want that. You don't want to slow down in your cool down. That's uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, still around 80. And then Sunday, uh, not too bad, starting out in the 60s and ending up in the 70s for the afternoon. But the cool air will be making its way, albeit slowly, on down in to make it for a mild Sunday afternoon. Again, it's Monday when we'll finally see the rest of that cooler air coming down, but only for a day. Yeah, and look, this is the bad part of the forecast. I'm not talking about rain. I wish I was, but I'm not because we're just basically expecting... Uh, Rain-free conditions even with a frontal boundary. Sorry about that. Now the Christmas forecast shakes out pretty nice. 48 to start the morning, Christmas morning, and then 68 by afternoon with plenty of clear in between and a northeast wind 10 to 15 miles an hour. So I'll take that. That's a gift for sure. Uh, your seven-day forecast shows that the weekend will have that odd two-step process, shifting winds around and dropping temperatures a bit, but then the coolest day will be Monday and again Wednesday of next week.